everyone a happy Tuesday and happy new year to you. Happy new year. How y'all doing this fine Tuesday? As y'all can see, it's that time. Gotta head on back into the workhouse. Gotta head on back in. Make it do what it do. Make my day. Go ahead and get my couple of days over this week and get it in. Plus, I'll be busy this time of the month and I need to get some stuff done. So, which is a lot easier to do on two monitors than a laptop. So, I gladly go in today. This used to be one, but I gladly pay you back and give me a hamburger a day. Give me a hamburger a day. I just slept this week. I ain't look in the mirror. Lord have mercy. Oof, honey. So, are y'all going to the workhouse today? Or did you take one more day off? I think the few, the little children have a, um, have a, uh, another day off of school. Another day or two, I think. Well, I know in Memphis they do. They, they left at the uh, at a hard time. <clears throat> they last day of school was like the Wednesday before Christmas. And it was like, that was hard. But anyway, so they don't go back, I think, until Thursday. You know, to get them their little two weeks off. I got tickled. I was looking at, uh, a cruise blog um and then i was watching it and it was a lot of children on the cruise blog right and i'm on this group and y'all know amber loves the cruise so we've been on several cruises and when amber was younger i would deliberately go during the time when it was kids you know more kids gonna be on there so they'll have you know children to talk to and stuff like that but the funny thing is <clears throat> it's always gonna be some children on the cruise but you gonna be overrun with them kids. And y'all, believe it or not, you can have the best, most smile amount of kids. When they get with other kids, sometimes they just get buck wild. They get buck wild. Them children be a whole hot mess on their cruise sometimes, some of them. They be like, man, they be cussing like sailors when they'll be away from their parents. You be like, what? I had to turn around a few times on some of them. I'm like, oh my goodness. Hey, man, I'm saying, ooh, those children a mess. <laughs> I said, yeah, they are. <laughs> but anyway, so the lady said, oh, I took my break. She, I took my break, and I thought I was going to get a break. I teach. Well, lady, I know that was her first cruise, but I want to say that's what everybody else I did. The parents are doing Christmas break. A lot of children be on the Christmas cruise. Once school is out, the summertime is it. You better wait till them children go back to school, and I know that's impossible for teachers. You know, you gonna have to find you something else to do because she was asking that Carmel have a, a adult on the cruise and they said, you gonna have to do something like a virgin or something like that. You're not gonna be able to do a Carmel, you know, because it's gonna be some children on, on the ship. But like, especially at certain times of the Christmas, they on vacation, parents sometimes plants are closed. That's the time for them to take vacation where they don't really have to um, use up any of their vacation time because you know my girlfriend a couple of my girlfriends their plan is closed down for a week one closed for two weeks you know and they're off so that's not vacation they have to take it if your children out there to give them something to do and a lot of parents are getting away from giving gifts so they go on a destination you know and the cruises a lot of times it because everything is incorporated as far as the food and the you know lodging and everything you know so you don't have to do a whole lot of worrying and, and they have activities <clears throat> that they can do on the cruise and you can go on excursion so yeah you gotta figure something else out and use some of your vacation or something to go doing another time because baby when you out and you a teacher when you out they out and anybody else if you don't have children and if you don't have children it's hard to but i've you know i had a child so but she was the only child too but you know uh when we went but we went when she went with her god sisters and stuff so but so the children that bother me you know you gonna have to have the expectation that when you have children they gonna do things you know and they gonna run you over because you know they just are the only thing I don't like is like when parents don't monitor their kids, especially the smaller kids. They have them all up at the buffet. I do think they need to be at some, um, they need to have some more rules incorporated around that because you like, why did you let your child come up here making a mess like this? And how come you didn't come with your child? You know, that kind of stuff. So anyway, but yeah, I just got to, yeah, that's a, just a public service announcement. Don't go when the, when it's break time, you know, and the children are out of school. Because, baby, you might as well get ready for a, a, a vacation like that to be overrun. There's going to be plenty of kids. And if you don't have kids and not used to children, 
it might not be your thing to do during that time of the but like i said it's gonna always be some kids on there but it's just that it's gonna be an abundance of children like during the summer months and when they like and it's spring break baby spring break you're gonna get the children and you're gonna get them college kids they're not really kids they going into adulthood but they buck wild i tell you that right now you learn your lesson though you learn the times to kind of go and uh and not be trying to go you know when it's gonna be like that but anyway i just got tickled at it when i saw it in my facebook group after i saw it it's a lot of kids on this cruise i got tickled i'm like but to me like i said it don't even bother me because i really kind of want to i told him i really kind of want to go on a disney cruise so yeah you know that that's fun that's the even though it's things for adults to do that's really tailored toward children so but i think it's just if you like disney you know you will enjoy the uh disney cruise you know but anyway i just got tickled at that you know well honey i'm gonna get on to this office and i'm going to um i want to go to all this when i get off i only want one thing from all these i don't you know i showed y'all i went in the store at the church one sunday and i showed y'all those many quiches right then I did all this haul and I went finally and I got them. Well, I ate them, y'all. And I've eaten them like three days in a row, I ate them. Because <laughs> if your service is five, so I ate them. I give me a serving each time. They are so good. And they only like $3 and something. You get 15 little small mini quiches, you know, and they are really good. So throw that with a piece of fruit. If you want a bun thaw, I threw them in the air fryer. Throw it with a piece of fruit and they are really good. So I ate those up. So I'm going to get me some more. And I tried to order some, um, when I had my little grocery haul, I tried to order some from uh, Walmart uh, on my grocery order, and they didn't have them, they were out. I was going to try their brand, but they were out, so I'm going to stop back by the office, because I don't think they were $3 or something at the Walmart either, so. All right, these planes are flowing. That's the Southwest. Where you going, Southwest? Where you going? You're going on vacation somewhere? I said I was getting off. Did I say I was getting off here? I don't even know. But anyway, I'll check back in with y'all later. See you later after Gator, after Wild Cracker Dial. On and off. On and off. I just thought I'd give you a. Uh, praise and worship y'all this morning because y'all said we didn't need all that and you always need some praise and worship you always need i hope you woke up this morning with a thankful heart anyway i'll see y'all i'll call y'all back when i get off work okay all right y'all i'm back i know i forgot to call y'all back it's the reason y'all i got off work right I got some spaghetti. Let me put this. Uh, I got some spaghetti squash in the in the oven. Uh yeah. Let me take it out. Woo. I'll do that in a minute. Well, this is spaghetti sauce I had in the freezer. Y'all know the other week I fixed it, right? And I had two containers I put in the freezer, and this is one of them. So let me put this, I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. Put this over in the pan to heat up. Get it on, let it warm up so I can make it. But yeah, I, uh, hold on one minute, y'all. in a bowl to put my spaghetti squash in. But yeah, my stomach got on the one, two, check or something after I got off. I'm like, what is going on? So I didn't stop at all this. At all. I did have to get some gas. So I managed to go to the gas station. And uh, yeah, I was like, Lord have mercy. And I just seasoned this with some um. I seasoned this with some salt and pepper, uh, seasoned salt, 
and um whew, salt and pepper season salt okay where's the darn thing that i took the thing out the room i can't keep up with nothing oh here it is and i um I said, what am I going to eat today? My stomach finally feels a little bit better, so I said, I think I can eat me some. So I came and put this spaghetti sauce in. I, took, I was going to do that anyway. But I'm trying to, you know, I allowed myself some pasta the last time, you know, the first time I ate some of the spaghetti sauce. So this time I'm doing the, the, um, and I just cooked this on 400, y'all in the oven for 50 minutes and it comes right out you scrape it out it makes a nice amount and you see it be like spaghetti i don't know if y'all eat spaghetti sauce so, uh, squash or not but i'll eat this with my sauce over it and um uh, i'm gonna do this other half and get it to going. And so when I get ready to eat, once that sauce get, put me a little of spaghetti sauce, uh, squash on a plate and some sauce over it. And I'm gonna make that do. I ain't cooking nothing else today. No vegetables, no other vegetables. I thought about some asparagus. I got some frozen asparagus in there. And I also got some, um, what I'm trying to say, some broccoli. Y'all know I keep some broccoli. But I'm like, you know what? This spaghetti, um, it's like six o'clock here. I right, five or six. And uh, it's between five and six, rather, I'm sorry. And so I said, you don't need a heavy meal, no ways. Just go on and get you something on your stomach. And um, now you're feeling a little bit better. And you know. And I had a pretty small spaghetti squash. Y'all saw me in Kroger when I bought it. But um, this is that one I bought when I was in Kroger. And it made a whole, you know, I eat off this. Made a pretty nice size bowl of it. So, yeah. I'm just mixing it up because you know the seasoning be all on the top when you cook it. And see, you clean up. I put it on four. It's just easy clean up and just wrap that baby up and throw it in the garbage. The garbage. What y'all cooking for dinner this evening? What you got? What you let me turn this oven off too. Because I'll be forgetting sometimes. And be sitting down and oh. Sitting down, and it was real quiet at work today. I guess everybody coming back tomorrow. They stretched a little bit the vacation on out, y'all. And um, I'm just washing that bowl that I had in soft in. So you know what? I'm gonna make me a little bowl right here, and this little bowl right here for my dinner. What I'm gonna do? Oh yeah, one of my coworkers came. He was talking to me about his holiday. Said he had went well, they're working on the department. He said he had went down home for Christmas. He came home and had to be here, so he stayed down there and talked to me about 30 minutes. Like I said, I was the only one in my department today. So, um, I know I saw I looked at everybody's calendar. I think everybody was working from home, except my manager. He was on vacation today, but he's going to be back in the office tomorrow. So, it was quiet, but it was quite pleasant. I don't mind being up there by myself. It doesn't bother me. Y'all can see my, uh, this boiling away. 
Get me a nice little serving of that squash. And let me put this over here. Man, I am discombobulated for real. Oh, I never, here I am thinking I had a spoon in my hand. I just looked at the spoon, child. And it's talking about I had one. I ain't had no spoon. I ain't had a spoon at all. Let me put some of this sauce. Make sure this sauce hot. Yeah. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit more. Heat it on up. Heat it on up. And put me a nice spoon of sauce. And just like that, my little bowl of spaghetti squash. My, my version of some spaghetti tonight. Baby, it's ready to, ready to go. Ready to go. I'm going to sit out here and eat. But I didn't want the day to go by without calling y'all back like I promised. But anyway, I'm going to get off here. I want you to know you loved. I love you. But God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessing. As y'all can see, I'm ready for night night. All right. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Love you.